Hi, I'm Mike, KB8BMY. In this video, I'm going to show you how I put together my linear satellite station. Okay, here's the linear satellite station. And uh, this is great for portable operation. It's great for roving. And let's start with the components. Of course, we have a aero antenna. And with the aero antenna, I've also included a filter. Now, on uh, linear satellites, like all other satellites, you can either uplink or downlink on uh, UHF or VHF. The filter is in case you uplink on VHF and you're transmitting on VHF, it won't interfere on the UHF side. So that's why I've included that. An example is FO29. You'd uplink on VHF and you listen on UHF. So it's important to have that. The next component I want to show are the radios we use. I have a Yaesu 817 and an 818. I use one for transmit, one for receive. I have these held together with a bracket. And as you can see, this is a real solid bracket. I really like it. And uh, again, all these components uh, I have in the description section of what they are and where I source them. The next component I want to show is a Heil headset. This is the BM-17. And this is a, having a headset on linear is essential. So you want to have a good headset, and Heil makes one of the best. Uh, you can get the kind with one earphone or two. I like. I just like to have one. I like to hear out of the other ear. Audio quality on receive and transmit is excellent with that uh, headset. Another important component that's kind of a companion for the headset is a Heil push to talk. When you're operating linear, you're going to be switching frequencies as you go along. And you're going to hold the antenna with one hand, and you're going to have to switch frequencies and push to talk with the same hand. So this is one reason we've got that. So you can spin the dial and push to talk. So that's why we've got that. The next component uh, that's very important for linear operation is uh, a Morse code key, of all things. You can actually do Morse code on the satellites, but a lot of guys use a Morse code key to find themselves on the passband. So when you transmit, you'll hear yourself on the downlink passband. And it's better to have a Morse code key. You just send a little tone and you can find yourself. So it's important to have that. I have that Velcroed on there because this whole thing's portable. I can walk around while I operate. Also have a MP3 recorder so I can record the pass. Very important. So we have that. And all this is all plugged in on the side here, as you can see. So we have the output. The bottom radio is my receive radio. Top radio is my transmit radio. And so I'm able to uh, have those all hooked up. So that's basically the setup there. And here we have the bracket uh, for the cell phone, so I can use a tracking software. And again, with that bracket, I can aim right at the satellite. And so I know I'm right on, and of course I can hear myself on the downlink. So that saves a lot of problem there, too. It's really important to be right on. And as you've probably seen on some satellites, you can be off a couple degrees and hear it. But if you want to get in and get in uh, clearly, you want to be aimed right at it. So that's really important to have that bracket and use your tracking software. And again, I use Heavens Above, and I like that because I can track the satellite. So that's basically the setup. And I also want to point out that we have Six-foot jumpers gives a lot of room to move the antenna. Uh, we use uh, BNC to BNC on all these jumpers, and you basically only need two of them here. So there you go. That's a linear satellite setup. It's very portable, and it's not very expensive, and you can get into the linear satellites using this station.